Okay guys, this is gonna be a special um, thing dedicated to some of the people on the uh, TrueBlood.net forums that I am a member of. Um, I actually listened to their podcast and surprisingly enough my True Blood vs. Twilight um, got mentioned on the podcast. And apparently the uh, one, the moderator, I can't remember her name at the moment, thought it was real cool and... Um, she thought it was some video editor at first or something like that, and I made this up, but I didn't. It's an actual game. And if she ever gets this game, I just wanted to show her the character creation mode, how you do this. So you go here. Now you start at this little middle character right next to this guy that you see here. Here, as you can see, I've made some. I made Jack Sparrow, the Joker, Batman. Of course, Bill and Suki, Edward and Bella, my uh, characters right there. Will Turner, Raw McDowell, Mario and Luigi, and there's James. Now we are going to make Eric Northman. So we will put him right next to Bill. You choose a male or a female. All right, now Eric, I can see him. We're going to give him a samurai sword style, or Mitsurugi, as his name is. Alright, auto-generate character, just gonna start like this, and, uh, we turned up here, and he's definitely not gonna look like that. So we want to change him style to foot soldier. Chainmail, nice. Alright. Since we're gonna, we're gonna go over bases here, and we're gonna give him a Male face number four will work, I think. Um, actually, maybe male face nine? Yeah, that'll work. And it is not gonna have cornrows. Eric has sort of long hair, but. You can either go with the art from the first season, which would be, or the second season, which would be gelled back, or you can go with his going the hairstyle long straight. I think that looks better, honestly. Alright, now his hair color is good. Okay, change the color. You see his little numbers. It's a seven, nine, eight. It's a really, I like that color for Eric's hair, so we're going to do the same thing to his facial hair. It's going to be 7, 9, 8. So what you want to do here, you want to press the R1 button, which is this button right here. To change it to 7. And then move the, you know, D-bed over here. Go here, 7, 9, and then upwards. 7, 9, 8. There it is. And dang it, I just like that face. That's just that's a really good face for him. Okay. Eye color. I don't uh, remember what Eric's eyes are, and I don't want to move around because it's a camera. But all right, skin color. We're gonna make him a little more. That'll work. All right, now for the next parts. This is how you get the outfits. What you want to do, you see you have head equipment, which is the helmets and stuff. The entire equipment set, you have styles, but we're not going to worry about that. Head equipment, face equipment, which is like masks or masks and um, sunglasses and stuff. Neck equipment, you know, necklaces, scarves, whatever. Shoulder equipment, uh, like pads that I guess knights or anything would use. And undergarments. So, like, chain mail and stuff like that. What we're gonna do is change his upper body equipment. He is going to have... The, um... Cotton shirt. Now, arm equipment. You can put a gloves on him or whatever. Or gauntlets. Lower body equipment means like uh, 
jeans and stuff, we're going to go with, since they don't have jeans for some reason, we're just going to give them slacks. Ankle equipment, bandages, or shinobi tab. Here's the thing. You're not going to be able to use all this. See, some equipment I may use, you're not going to be able to use it until you actually purchase it. So here I won't be able to use the bandages unless I purchased it. Which I'm not going to waste my time. Just give him nothing. And now we can that. All right. We can give him straw sandals, vagrant wardress, or smooth. But for now, we're going to give him some kung fu shoes. See right there. All right. Now what we're gonna do is go over here, and you can change the color of the equipment. And his shirt needs to be all black, like uh, the show. All right. So what we're gonna do is go zero sixty four thirty two. Oh, and to go backwards, you press the L two button, which is this button right there. Oh, I messed up that. All right. Get, go back. There. Thank you. Don't, don't, don't. There we go. One. Shirt's black, and his belt is not really brown. It's more of a blackish color, too. But yeah, there we go. Let's just go with the black color for that. On the equipment, his pants are also going... His slacks are going to be black. Such as that. Shoes... Eh, we'll go with all black too. I don't care really, honestly. I like the whiteness in those. That looks pretty cool. And there's Eric. Well, what we have him so far. Now, there's the most important thing. Eric is pretty buff, so but you can actually change his buffness by moving this all around. If we go over here, look at this. Yeah, that's the Incredible Hulk thing. That's the Incredible Hulk thing going on right there. So we're going to change it to about... There we go. And I'm gonna turn this up so you can hear the voice a little better. It's really boring when I know I'm going to win. Not really. That's not a good voice for him. Well, that was a waste of time. I love these do or die situations. Mm. Well, that, you leave me no choice. I'll make this. I would gladly accept your challenge. And you leave me no choice. I'll make this quick. Well, that was a waste of time. <laughs> I love these do or die situations. That sounds a bit like him. Yeah, that sounds a bit like Eric. Deep voice, whatever. Alright, here you go. You can change the attack equipment, base equipment, and just uh, pull in that layer. But I just want to go over the basic stuff. So, okay, now you choose his weapon. You choose the Sinchio one player or the two player, or you can choose the Masa Moon. Or if two-handed sword is your thing, um... I wonder how that's gonna look. Ooh. Ooh, I like the look of that sword. And I can purchase it, too. Yeah, these swords you actually have to purchase, by the way, Damascus. Ooh, wait a second. Hold on. No, I like the two-handed sword better. That just looks... That just looks so much better. Alright, well, now I only have 600 gold. You earn gold by going into arcade mode or story mode. Arcade mode is the quickest way to earn gold, but, well, you'll see when you get there. All right, now you can equip skills on him, such as, uh, but you probably wouldn't care about that. You just want to create the character. And here you enter the name. You press the square button, which I don't even think I need to show you. It's pretty explanatory. To go back to um, uppercase letters, you hit you hit the um, R2 button, which is this one right here. As you can see, you can change uppercase to lowercase. Now we're going to put in Eric. Um, space is the triangle button, by the way. Oh, they have it right here. Northman. Okay, that, there you go, and unfortunately the N can't fit in his name, but oh well, let me try. 
And holy crap, I am running out of time. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to show you the test play, but that's how you do it. Finish. Hit uh, continue editing. You need to continue editing or go to the data selection screen. I'm going to go to the data selection screen because I am past the 10 minute time limit. Yeah, that's character creation. And next I'll show you a match between Bill and Eric. Till then, see ya.